Earth no longer exists in Starfield, or so it would seem. This is all a part of new information that came out from Bethesda just recently. Additionally, we find out new information on factions, companions, as well as the behaviour of NPCs throughout your journey. Let's dive in and take a look. So on your journey into the old neighbourhood into the solar system, you will head towards Mars. The settlement here is called Cydonia. It's a very large settlement and would be a very important part of the main questline. Now, one of the things I like about these Bethesda games, both with the Elder Scrolls series as well as Fallout, is that you don't really have to partake in the main questline. It means that Bethesda games are very much open world. You don't even have to get involved in that main story. You can just head on out into the game world and do what you want. Now, we don't know if the main questline is mandatory or not for Starfield, but what we do know is there are a lot of side quests and random encounters. Now, for me, this is one of the most interesting features of Skyrim. It's one of the things that really kept me invested in the title for so long. Just heading off into the wilderness, off into the mountains, into the snowy wastes, and seeing what happens. Sooner or later, you'll encounter a random person, or maybe a dungeon. And from there, a quest or other objective may unfold. Sometimes they lead you to other villages, sometimes to other dungeons or NPCs, and sometimes you may even make a rare discovery. It's one of the really golden elements of these titles, something I really do enjoy. Starfield is going to be no exception to this, according to Bethesda, and indeed it will follow much the same methods. However, whereas with Skyrim and Fallout you may have encounters with random individuals or small little dungeons or habitations, with Starfield it's going to work on an entirely different scale, and that largely because, well, there's entire planets, 1,000 different planets to explore. For all of these, Bethesda have created a variety of different locations. These locations may be outposts, they may be other type of locations, but the important factor here is that these assets, these locations, will dynamically populate the planets. That means you can randomly walk around the planet, explore the planet, and sooner or later you will encounter one of these areas. And you can expect them to be full of life, they won't be abandoned lifeless facilities. Instead, there may be objectives here, quests or missions. Maybe the inhabitants of the outpost are having certain troubles with pirates, or maybe one of their members has been kidnapped. These are examples that Bethesda did use. The objective then may send you to an entirely different location within the game, maybe on a different planet, or maybe another location on the same planet. In short, it seems a neat way for these sort of random encounters to work. Basically, they'll work as we would largely expect from this type of title. However, they may be scaled up somewhat to reflect the vast universe, the vast galaxy of Starfield. Of course, along the way, you will have a variety of companions. One of these we do know, they come in the form of a robot, and they will have all the usual features, so you're about to share equipment with them, you're about to trade items with them, you're about to talk with them, and have a basic relationship with them. But where Starfield takes it a little bit further is that your companions will also be able to crew your ship. This makes them a vital component of your, your, your endeavours throughout space. It's something I'm actually really looking forward to, kind of keen to see how the ships and all that stuff actually function. We know that you won't be able to free fly around planets, but you will be able to free fly in space. You're about to get involved in combat, that much we do know, but I'd also like to see space-based exploration. Maybe the random encounters that we've heard mentioned and discussed on planetary surfaces will also function in space, that would be pretty neat, wouldn't it? Random encounters in space stations and abandoned spaceships and lovely stuff like that. Anyway, that's just speculation, but we do know, like I say, that companions will play an important part right across your entire journey. So much so that on the main quest, companions may determine the outcome of certain events. Now, as with many of these type of games, you often, as a player, reach certain objectives, certain areas that you cannot bypass. And this could be because, well, there's just a guard standing at a door, or it could be an objective or a situation that you cannot overcome on your own. This is where companions will be able to come in and help out. If you can't bypass a certain area on your own, you may be able to turn to a companion and ask them to do this for you. Now, the companion will do this in their own way, 
and that may have a positive or negative consequence. Now, on the one hand, this kind of feels as though it's taking a bit of autonomy away from the player, but on the other hand, I think it really will add a lot of life to the companions. Another thing that's going to be interesting is how NPCs react to the player throughout the story. Depending on your choices throughout the main quest and perhaps other quests, this will have a dramatic impact on NPCs, to the point whether they actually live or die, or the position which they end up occupying in any specific faction. All in all then, it seems Starfield is definitely following the same templates as set by Fallout and Elder Scrolls, although in this case it appears it is doing so at a somewhat greater scale. I'm certainly curious to see how successfully Bethesda pulled this one off, as if it achieves what it's aiming to achieve here, what it's claiming to achieve, then the Starfield should be a very interesting game indeed. One thing I'm really keen to explore is a free roam space adventure, something we don't have enough of. So do let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. What do you feel about all of this information? Does it seem to you that Starfield is going to be a Skyrim in space, or do you think there's more, or perhaps less, going on here? As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.